Chapter 1, The Visionary at Nintendo's Helm. Hiroshi Yamauchi, a name synonymous with revolutionary change in the gaming industry, assumed leadership of Nintendo, a company originally dedicated to producing playing cards, in 1949. This marked the beginning of a transformative era not just for Nintendo, but for the entire video gaming landscape. Under Yamauchi's leadership, Nintendo made a monumental pivot from traditional playing cards to becoming a pioneer in video gaming, a move fueled by Yamauchi's keen perception of market trends and technological potential. In the late 1970s, Yamauchi, recognizing the limitations of the playing card market, began to steer Nintendo towards the burgeoning field of electronic entertainment. He was instrumental in establishing strategic partnerships and pursuing technological innovations that laid the groundwork for this transition. His foresight was evident in his decision to invest in developing original video game consoles that would eventually set the standard in the industry. One of Yamauchi's significant moves was fostering an environment of creativity and innovation within the company. It was during his tenure that Nintendo developed the Nintendo Entertainment System (NES), which played a crucial role in revitalizing the video game industry during the 1980s. This system introduced the world to iconic characters and game franchises that have become household names. The NES's success was not just a triumph of technology but also a testament to Yamauchi's vision of creating engaging and immersive gaming experiences. This chapter underscores how Hiroshi Yamauchi's visionary leadership transformed a traditional playing card company into a leading figure in the global gaming industry, setting the stage for Nintendo's future successes and shaping the entertainment landscape for generations to come. Chapter 2. Leadership Strategies and Corporate Growth Hiroshi Yamauchi's leadership style was characterized by his authoritarian approach, which, while rigorous, drove Nintendo through the nascent stages of the video game industry with great success. Known for his decisive nature, Yamauchi made bold moves that often seemed risky but ultimately set Nintendo apart from its competitors. His management style fostered a culture where precision and innovation were paramount, which was crucial for the company's growth during the formative years of video gaming. One of Yamauchi's key strategies was his relentless focus on quality and engaging content, which became the hallmark of Nintendo products. He was directly involved in the creation and development process of game consoles and had a significant hand in overseeing the development of flagship game franchises such as Mario and Zelda. These franchises not only became synonymous with Nintendo but also redefined gaming, offering new narratives and interactive experiences that had not been seen before in the industry. Under Yamauchi's leadership, Nintendo also began its global expansion, which was marked by strategic market entries and fierce competition. He understood the importance of not just creating great products, but also effectively marketing them across different cultures and regions. This global strategy was pivotal as Nintendo navigated through various market dynamics and consumer preferences, which helped establish its brand internationally. The impact of these strategies was profound, securing Nintendo's place as a leader in the global gaming market. Yamauchi's ability to combine visionary product development with aggressive global marketing and meticulous quality control exemplifies his unique leadership approach that not only transformed Nintendo but also greatly influenced the broader gaming industry. Chapter 3, Legacy and Lessons for Future Leaders Hiroshi Yamauchi's tenure at Nintendo left an indelible mark on the gaming industry. His leadership not only transformed Nintendo into a dominant player in the gaming world, but also significantly influenced the development of the global gaming culture. Yamauchi's strategic foresight and commitment to innovation established a blueprint that continues to inspire game developers and corporate leaders alike. The legacy of Yamauchi's leadership extends beyond Nintendo's commercial success. He instilled a culture of innovation that pushed the boundaries of technology and storytelling within the gaming industry. This legacy is evident in the lasting popularity of Nintendo's game franchises, which remain influential in shaping the future of interactive entertainment. Moreover, Yamauchi's emphasis on quality and engagement has set standards that continue to drive the industry's evolution. The lessons from Yamauchi's leadership are manifold and universally applicable to modern business leaders. His approach underlines the importance of vision and daring in leadership, attributes that are crucial for navigating today's rapidly changing technological landscapes. Furthermore, his ability to foresee market trends and adapt to evolving consumer needs offers a valuable lesson in agility and strategic planning.
For future entrepreneurs and industry leaders, Yamauchi's story is a testament to the power of visionary leadership coupled with a commitment to innovation and quality. His strategies underscore the balance between taking calculated risks and maintaining a steadfast focus on long-term goals. As the gaming industry continues to evolve, the principles that guided Yamauchi remain relevant, serving as guiding lights for the next generation of leaders aiming to make their mark in this dynamic field.